all things comes an end. We are no more than a character in a story. Our lives easily extinguished by an arrow or a stone. Turn the page and thousands die. And for what? For the pride of two leaders who are inexorably drawn together by the power of two swords and a mutual destiny. And then the Sword of Frost and Armageddon's blade clash. A blinding flash. Another turn of the page. The destruction brings earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, and deaths uncounted. And acts of bravery too. Just when it seems we are doomed, we flip the page once more, and countless fortunate refugees flee through portals into another world. Is this the end of our tale? No, we are the pawns of fate. There are still many pages to turn. And to all things comes a beginning. Wonderful! Hail, heroes, and welcome to my new project, Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Probably the black sheep of the series. It's considered by a lot of fans of the series as a really bad game, which is really unfair of them. Now, as the cinematic was saying, this game turned the page. A lot. <laughs> in terms of lore and in terms of gameplay, it changed just about everything and destroyed the old world to get a new one and gameplay just changed completely and I think that's mostly why it got all the flag because it wasn't outrageously good or you know explicitly better than what what Heroes was before then and then they could not even recognize the world they were in so I guess people just got turned off by it especially since there are a few gameplay mechanics that are uh, a little bit of a failure. I'll get into that pretty soon. I mean, we're going to be introduced to a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, campaigns. I'm going to be doing all of the campaigns. Probably not the scenarios. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, probably... I don't know what order either. I haven't even done the test run of everything. I've done True Blade. I've gone... The Life. I've done the Chaos campaign. I've just finished the Elfin campaign, Nature. And I've started this, so I'm either gonna go like this, these three and then these three, or two, two, two. I don't know. But it does mean that I'm gonna start with Life and end with Chaos no matter what. Alright, let's just get it started. I've been the loyal squire of Lord Lysander for more than 12 years. My name is not important because history takes no notice of people like me. Lysander, however, is different. I have known since I first set eyes on him that he would change the world. Well, aren't you a faithful? I'm going to be playing this on uh, Advanced. Advanced, as it says, is mostly because computer players have no handicaps in combat, and neither do you. Uh, because on higher difficulties, you have uh, resource handicaps, computers get better get bonuses I guess and neutral armies larger than being norm Th this is done blindly and it is stupid way to do it but whatever guards can be mobile I'd rather them be mobile because this game was designed for mobile guards at least to some extent now campaign you can read that I'm not going to but you can read that scenario you're actually missing a line I'm this game has a lot of writing uh, into it, a lot of it, a lot, of, a lot of effort went into writing a good story with this, and I strongly encourage you to actually read through it. It is a little bit of a novel, a little bit, but it's it, it's part of the charm of this game, I'd say. It it'd be even better if you could hear the music at the same time, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna take the whole time. You're gonna have to pause the video, so you're not gonna get the music. So that's unfortunate, but it's gonna have to happen. Anyways, let's get this started already. 
Sound is loud. I'm gonna have to fix that for that next time. Talking about novels, you can have a whole bunch of things to read. Hold on. Alright, I hope you pause the video, because I'm gonna be scrolling down now. And normally you've read everything. I did not, but basically it uh, explains the situation, I think. Or there's some kind of pretender to the throne, the empty throne, or whatnot. So this is Lysander, a knight. Well, they're all... No, there's a priest, right? Maureen, the priest, Mulek, the knight. Uh, the game was saying that you're gonna get to keep the two, uh, his two highest generals, probably these two, unless you recruit other people. Uh, right, let's just start moving around, why not? Uh, uh, I don't think I want to build anything here just yet. Let's just get some, uh, creatures recruited. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna talk about this. These are all the creature dwellings. I'm gonna talk about this now. These are all the creatures dwellings. Uh, that's eight. That's a lot. But uh, starting with the, the those are four tiers, by the way. Tier one, two, three, and four. Only four tiers. The difference between last, first, and last, rather. Yeah, that's how you count. It's 2 a.m. for me. I am tired. Whatever. Uh, four tiers. The first tier, you get both of them, but then you have to make a choice every single time. If you, if I choose Guardhouse, I'm disabling the Ballista work, at least for this castle, so... Just keep that in mind. You have choices to make. Um, let's learn something. Yes! Thank you. And explore. That's not what I wanted at all. Thank you, game. Uh, sure, let's get into a battle. Or not, because we're not going to reach there that far just yet. Ah, uh, this is why I didn't want to start building just yet. <sighs> I'm going to need my resources. Okay. I went for ore with the other guy. I guess I'm going to go with... Um, oh. oh, dear God, yeah. Basic resurrection. Uh, you have a pri you have a few primary slots, and for each of them, you have three uh, secondary slots. They're all the same. E each of them has five levels: basic, and then advanced, uh, expert, I guess. No, no, no. I don't remember what the levels are. I was playing this today. I s I don't remember. I'm terrible. This is probably a bad idea. I should give that to a knight, but there's no knights around, so whatever. Whatevs. Oh, I'm gonna need that. I'm going to need more resources because, by the way, things in this game, uh, the highest is City Hall. Hall uh, City Hall. It only gives you a thousand, which is not quite enough. Resources can be a bit of a problem in this game. Oh, hey, look, more money. I'm gonna need that. Hey, first battle of the game. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the hero is actually on the field, and he can die. He has HP and everything. Do watch out for that. Uh, what else was I gonna say? The second thing you're gonna notice is no grids, and I cannot put it on. And the third thing you're gonna see is there's no shadow telling you how far you can go. You just have to guess. If you click like here, he's gonna take the shortest path, shortest, shortest path to it. Now, one of the main things people will, will hate about this game is the battle map and how finicky it is. It's really hard to guess exactly. You have to get used to it, basically, because it's really hard to get your characters, well, your characters, your creatures, to do exactly what you want them to do. Uh, something else you probably saw during that battle. Retaliations aren't instantaneous. Retaliations don't happen after the combat, they happen during the combat, which can be troublesome. I'm going to shoot this before I attack it, thank you. Uh, okay, good. I was a bit lucky there. Because the this sprite could have killed one of the archers. That's, that would have been fine. Oh no! Well, I lost the squire. By the way, the uh, rank ones for life are meh. Especially the squires, I don't use the squires much. They're ordinary, they both have 10 HP. Crossbow... crossbowmen are decent archers, I suppose. Oh, I can get more down there. 
Decent archers, I suppose. Nothing special. The squire's main feature is that it can actually stun things. <laughs> Which might be worthwhile to just get a whole bunch of stacks of one squire. Try to get a stun off, although that would be rather unlikely, considering there's only one per stack. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go with basic offense. By the way, uh, heroes being on the field does mean that their stats mostly do not affect their creatures. Tactics and everything under it is basically your only way to affect them. Just keep that in mind. Now, my hero is equipped with a bow, so he can actually shoot. Oh, that's a lot of things, actually. Holy crap. That's a bit dangerous. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm scared of these first. Squires, you're too far away, god damn it. This uh, game did introduce the system of, uh... What? The system did introduce the... Nah, bad. This game did introduce the system of, uh... Movement and initiative. Uh, although it wasn't called movement and initiative, it was called something else back then. Still, they introduced the whole concept. Uh, also, tying down archers is really finicky, as you can tell, by the fact that the wolves are not tied down anymore, or not tying down my uh, hero anymore, strangely enough. Well, I'm in trouble, because if the hero dies, I lose. <laughs> I need Lysander to not die. Well, here we go. By the way, battles in this game are a little harder, because heroes can die. Oh, hello, you. If any hero gets this... Oh. I became a general. Oh, that's something else I'm gonna have to explain now. If uh, any hero gets the archery skill, he's always gonna be able to shoot. He doesn't need an artifact like this. Uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Quickness. Immortality. I should probably drink that next time. Uh, oh yeah, classes. Basic, his, every hero is going to start out with a basic class, knight is basically just tactics, and once he get at least two skills, either advanced of the, of the primary one or the primary one and a secondary one, I cannot pronounce right now apparently, but as soon as he gets two skills of something else, they combine to give him a class which gives him a bonus. And you can change his class if you ever get another... Well, the, the, his class is going to always be uh, the combination of the two sets that have the most skills in it. So if I basically like, gave him life magic and just invested in life and combat, he would become the combination of uh, combat and life, even though tactics was his original one. Or I could get life and give mostly tactics and mostly life, which would make him the combination of those two. Stuff like that. Do keep in mind, the class, besides the bonus, also affects what skills you are offered. A general, for instance, is going to mostly get offered tactics and combat, his two specialties. Getting uh, other stat, or not other stats, but other uh, skills is rather rare in these cases. So yeah, you can change, your, not change, but choose your class according to what skills you want. As much as... Um, As much as uh, what the bonus to that bonus from that class is. All right, this is probably going to go much better. Why did they go so far? How did they go so far? That's what I don't get. Wolves are not supposed to cross the field. That's what I went all crazy about when they did it. It was just. Why could they cross the entire field like this? You can change what your action is going to be from here, so... By default, he's going to be walking instead of shooting. Do you not have a retaliation yet? Apparently not. They were still off of it from the squire attack. Alright, cool. Boom. Going to wait you just a little. I'm going to have the, the, the hero eat that retaliation. See, this battle should not have been a problem because the wolves should not have been able to come across. Good morale in this game does not give you an extra action, so that's not what made him cross the entire field. Good morale, by the way, good or bad, affects turn order. Somebody with good morale, like the knights here, squires, not knights, knights are here, 
the squire here got good morale, that means he goes first in the turn order. Kind of. It moves you up the turn order. Getting bad morale triggered uh, makes the other makes you go last, basically. I lost a lot of squires in this one. Well, there were a lot of crap to kill. And they were pretty dangerous. Oh dear. No, oh, don't go all the way around that. Uh, advanced Resurrection. I am a fan of Resurrection. It does conserve some troops. To some extent. Uh, I'm gonna bless you. So you can shoot down my enemies before they get to me. Very efficiently. Oh dear. They're coming! Oh. You actually made it to me. Well, I guess there's no help in it. Ugh. See, that was the stun effect. That makes them unable to do anything, really. Boom! Monk punching action. Go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat that retaliation so that the, the squire doesn't have to. Really... You're probably gonna want to try to eat retaliations with uh, stuff that can actually survive it. Because it's even more critical, you don't get to soften them up before you take their retaliation. It just happens. Unless you have First Strike. First Strike is a new ability that only this game actually showed. Combat is really important if you want to keep your um, heroes alive. Combat increases their life expectancy by a lot. Leprechauns. I guess I'm going to deal with these idiots. Fine. Just get to it. Uh, and then you. Oh, of course it's protected. By centaurs and berserkers, no less. Well, let's see if I, what I can do. This should be a hard battle, actually. By the way. I'm not looking forward to it too much. Alright, shoot these ones down. Berserkers are really good against you. Not when they're on your team, though. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then centaurs are just really good, no matter what. That's why this is going to be... Oh, dear. That's actually not as much of a problem, because he doesn't have to survive. Lysander does. That just means he's not going to get experience, but you can resurrect him if you get him to one of your towns. Oh, dear. Berserkers are really good statistically, and they get double attacks. That's why they're so good. Uh... Oh, God. Well, I'm only going to have archers remaining after this. It's going to be fantastic. Maybe I'm even going to lose. If I lose this battle, I'd have to restart the whole goddamn turn. Uh, please just go in a shooting match with me once I've done with... Oh, God. Once I, once I dealt with these, I was going to say... Oh, no, he's going to tie me down. Yeah, okay. That does mean I have to restart all this. I'm gonna cut. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, watch me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Mm, yay! Managed to do this. Probably with better, better losses than last time. Although Lysander barely survived with eight HP. HP gets refilled after one combat. MP not so much. It just gets refilled eventually. Alright, Advanced Resurrection. Alright, still cutting now. Alright, this also got finished with less losses, I think. And then you got Advanced Regeneration or re whatever. Resurrection. There you go. I'm good at this. Combat. I still got the same things as I did before. Now, this I'm probably not going to do just yet because I'm kind of terrible at it. Oh, I know why. You know, I. I think I've never done this on this difficulty before. So that's why I was expecting an easy win there and did not get it. 